Hi everyone, welcome back to Beads and Banter Live. I hope you've all had a really lovely Easter weekend um, and that you've managed to get some beading in and hopefully had a chat to friends and family on the phone or maybe a bit of a FaceTime or a Zoom party if you've had the chance. Um, I can just hear my little dog barking um, because he wants to go out, so I'm really sorry, but I can't let him out because he keeps escaping into the neighbour's garden, so we shall just have to ignore his little pitiful cries in the background of this video because he mustn't go out at the moment, not with me doing this because I won't be able to keep an eye on him. Um, what I wanted to do today is show you how to make these cute little daisy earrings like the one that I've got in here. Um, so I'm gonna take you through that in a moment and show you how to make the earrings. Um, I have had a lovely weekend with my family. We've done lots of nice little things together. Um, my husband and I played uh, banana grams yesterday, which was good fun. And we had some uh, nice roast lamb, which was very yummy. Um, and an Easter egg hunt in the garden. And it was lovely and sunny here. Um, so we had a really lovely weekend. Um, I missed seeing the rest of my family and friends, um, but you know, we made the best of it. Um, so um, say hi and tell, us, tell me about your weekend. I'd love to hear how your Easter has been. Hi, Jeanette. Hi, Rita. How are you guys? Thank you for joining us, thank you. Um, so I think whilst we do that, I'm just gonna flip my camera and show, my, show you my bead mat and then just show you how to make these little daisy earrings. I'm gonna say a few hellos first. So hi Pamela, hi Rachel, hi Anita. Thank you very much for joining us. It's really lovely to have you here. Hi Anne, how are you? Um, so yeah, I've put already actually, I've been very organized today and I've popped a little free pattern download onto the website for these daisies. So you should just be able to head over to the website and see this pattern here. Hi Chris, hi Lorraine, hi Morag. Um, so yeah, you should be able to download this little free pattern. Hopefully you might have the things to do it in your bead stash because I've just used size 11 seed beads um, and I've used four mil bicone crystals, four mil Swarovski bicones. Um, hi Doris. Thank you, that's really lovely. Um, this week I've decided to do it all about flowers. So I'm starting off with a daisy today and then we shall hopefully have more flowers as the week goes on. Um, so hi, hi Marisina, hi in the Dominican Republic, lucky you. Hi Rita, oh yeah, a bit boring without your children. It is really sad, we are all missing our families so much, our wider families so much at the moment. And it must be especially tough, I think, if you're on your own right now and you, you know, you're not living with other people because then you really are feeling that isolation, I expect. So hopefully we can all get together and have these beads and banter sessions and, you know, feel part of something together. Hi Debbie in California, or rainy here. It's, it's actually not very nice weather here either. Hi Sherry in Michigan. So while we say these hellos, I'm gonna flip my camera over and show you um, show you everything that I've got on my bead map. Or something I also wanted to show you though, was I had a go at um, macrame at the weekend and I made this macrame piece here um, using a video that was all in Spanish and I don't speak a word of Spanish. Um, it was a YouTube video from a, a, web, uh, a channel called Nudo, by Nudo. Nudo, I think, is must be Spanish for not. So I made these uh, little, it's supposed to be an earring, but it'll be quite big. But I might I might make another one as well. We'll see. Um, so if you're interested, I'll pop a link to this video for this um, macrame too um, on this video when I'm done. So, oh, it's lovely to, lovely to see all your comments. Right, let's get making. So I'm going to flip the camera over and then we can get making together. So here we go. So here we are, video much better today. I'm so glad because it was really, really rubbish on Friday. The reception we had was just, I don't know what it was, but maybe everyone was online at the same time. Um, so um, yeah, it's good that we can all see today. So thank you for bearing with me on Friday. You had a Zoom happy hour. That sounds fun, Chris. Uh, so that's my that's my macrame that's my macrame piece I was talking about. So I will pop a link to the video on the um, channel that I found um, to do this with. It took me about four hours to get this far, but I did um, 
I did uh, know what I was doing by the end of it, so I do feel confident that I could make another one if I did want to make that into an earring. So, um, And I used the Brazilian uh, wax cord to do this with as well. Um, I think my daughter's just managed to get a crumb on it there. <laughs> Anyway, so that's the macrame, which I enjoyed. But what we're here today to do is do these little cute daisy earrings. And I wanted to show you these two that I've made so I could talk you through them all. Because this one here, um, they're both made with four mil crystals um, and they're both made with size 11 seed beads. But this one is made with all with Toho seed beads. And this one is made with Miyuki and then just Toho seed beads on the tip. I just thought I'd see if they turned out any differently if you did them with Miyuki or Toho. And it, they are, I think they're significantly different. I prefer the one that's done with the Toho seed beads. Um, so um, that's, I'm going to make another one for this earring here. Um, so what I shall do is I just pop that to one side just so you can see the Miyuki there. It's, it's a bit smaller somehow, even though they're both size 11 seed beads um, and I don't feel that the petals kind of go out into such a tip such a point um, as they do um, with the tohos um, I will pop a link on Rudy I will put a link on for that macrame um, YouTube video that I found so um, so I'm going to use uh, tohos um, in this uh, matte galvanized Turkish blue um, and the crystals I've got are Swarovski crystals in Capri blue. Um, and then I've just got a little uh, copper ear wire because I think the copper goes quite nicely with the blue. Something else I think that is important to think about is the way I've attached these ear wires is I've just gone straight through one of the beads on the tips of a petal. Um, and because these are Toho beads and the holes on Toho's are slightly larger than the holes on Miyuki, um, that sits really nicely and that ear wire just sits inside that bead really well. There's no need to make a loop or anything. It's just perfect. Whereas I think with the Miyuki's, it might be more of a squeeze. So that's probably another reason for using Toho's with this pattern. Um, so threaded my needle up with um, some, um, some fire line. Yeah, I mean, I don't think, Chris is saying that she thinks that maybe Toho is more regular, but I don't think that's true. I mean, I think Miyuki's are also very regular. I think it just must be something to do with the size. Uh, si the, um, the size. But yeah, Doris says that Miyuki's are rounder and Toho's are flatter, and that is true, actually. You can see that quite clearly. There. So maybe that's what's causing the difference in the flowers. Um, anyway, I've threaded up my needle with some Fireline and Fireline is a really good thread to use for this because it's a little bit stiffer. And so your finished flower is gonna be a bit stiffer as well. Um, and I'm gonna thread on six of my bicones and take that down towards my tail of thread. And yeah, this will be a nice pattern for summer. Um, and then go back through all six. And of course, this is so easy, this pattern, that if you've got sort of teenagers or or um, sort of children that are interested in maybe learning a bit of beading, then this is a really nice, easy little motif for them to get started with. So I've gone back through all six of those crystals. Yeah, I, I agree. Toho's are, I think, ever so slightly larger than Miyuki's. Um, and then I'm going to tie my tail of thread to my working thread with a knot, just to bring those crystals up together into a circle. And I'm just tying another knot on top, which is just to make it really nice and secure. And then you want to thread pull that knot back through a crystal. And then pick up 16 of the seed beads. Yeah, you're right, Chris is saying mixing them might create some nice texture in, in bead crochet. I think it probably would, good idea. So 16 seed beads, so it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15 and 16. 16 seed beads. And then go back through that crystal that you just exited there. And it will look like that. What kind of bead mat are you using? I'm just using just, this is just a regular, just a regular bead mat, Chris. One of the lists of cheap ones are only a few pounds. So I've got 16, I'm just gonna check because two, four, six, eight, 12, 14, sorry, I can't count. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, yeah, 16 seed beads. Then thread back up through the first eight that you added. So that's the first eight there. Yeah, this color is in our store, um, Chris. It's the, so it was the matte galvanized Turkish blue. So thread up through those first eight seed beads. Pick up another seed bead, and this is what makes the point on the petals. And then thread back down through the next eight, like that. And I have done a nice downloadable pattern for this, so you can just, um, I'll put the link on it, but it's right on the homepage of our website right now, actually, that downloadable pattern. Um, and then go back through that same crystal one more time, like so. We've got 53 people with us today. Hello, everybody. Um, and then you go back up through the first three seed beads on this petal, petal because these petals all share the first three seed beads with the next one. So now I need to pick up 13 seed beads that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and i bet you can probably guess what i'm gonna do now hi lorraine yeah it was a great easter thank you i'm gonna go back through that net the next crystal in the pattern like that and then up through the next eight. So that's that will be three from the other side. And um, and hi, Mary. Um, three from the other side and the first five that I just added on from this side. Thank you for joining us, guys. If you've missed a bit of this, and you can always watch the rerun in a bit and start from the beginning. So that was three, three from the other side and the first five that I just added on. Like that. And then we're ready to add another crystal, sorry, another seed bead to make the point on this petal. So picking up a, a seed bead and go through that the eight on the other side of this petal. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now I'm gonna go through the next crystal along. And once more, I'm gonna pick up 13 seed beads. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think I just lost one there. Let me check how many I've got. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. And then down through the three that it's going to share from the previous petal. So you can probably just work out how to do this now. You just keep keep on following the same idea. So I'm going to go up through these eight now so I can add the tip bead onto this petal. Eight, 
I'm gonna finish this earring, I think. Show you guys just that last petal, because of course the last petal's a little bit different because it will share two sides. They would be really nice. You could easily just pop these in an envelope and pop them in the mail. Um, that's a really nice idea actually, because they're nice and flat. They're not gonna get damaged. Um, and they would make just a really cute little gift for somebody um, because, you know, just to brighten their day, I guess. But if you also, if you sell your jewellery, they'd be quite nice too. Um, um, so back through that crystal. If, they sell, if you sell your jewellery, they'd be great because then they're, they're so inexpensive to make in terms of materials and they don't take long either. You're right, you're right, Anita. They would make a really nice component for a bracelet. If I put this one with these, like you could see how you could join the petals together to make a, a necklace, actually, or a, a bracelet. Yeah, send them to any front, front line workers that you know. That's a really sweet idea. I like that, Chris. Um, and now I'm going to go back up through the three seed beads that it's going to share with the next petal. That is a lovely idea. Maybe I shall send a, my sister's a, a doctor, so maybe I'll send some to my sister. She would love that, I expect. So again, it's now it's 13 more seed beads. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 13. And through the next crystal. It's good to know that they are different, I think, with the Toho's, with the Toho's and the Miyuki's. I mean, they work with the Miyuki's, but I just, I think I just prefer the shape that you get with a Toho. Uh, up through the three that it shares from the previous petal. And then up through the first five that we added here. I'm ready for that tip bead now. So that's another size 11 seed bead and then through the next eight. Okay. It's got two more petals to go now. So going to go through the next crystal. And I'm going to pick up another 13. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Down through the three from the previous petal and through the crystal and then back up through the first eight on this side. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And ready for that tip bead on this penultimate petal. I think using fireline thread is good with this because it's a slightly stiffer thread, so it makes your finished flower nice and firm. There we go. Ready for that last petal now. So this petal, this next, this last petal is going to share three beads from this petal here and three beads from this petal here. So I'm going to thread up through the first three and then I'm just going to pick up 10 seed beads this time. You've designed a smaller heart pin that has a centre design that can be changed for different... That's a lovely idea. I like that idea, Chris. So in 10 now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You could do them in yellow like daffodils for, for springtime or for Marie Curie Cancer Care. I think they use a daffodil as their motif. So they would look a bit like daffodils if you did that. 
So then through the three that it's sharing from the very first petal. And through the crystal. I'm just going to get my tail thread out of the way. I'm just going to trim my tail thread off because it's starting to annoy me. Okay, so then through the crystal. Hi Penelope, don't worry about being late. You can you can watch the whole thing again on the on the uh, replay if you like. Um, up through that the next eight, and then we're ready for that final tip bead. So that's five, six, seven, eight. Ready for that last tip bead there. Picking up that last bead and going through the next beads in that pattern, in that petal, I mean. You see how neat these flowers are? They really are really pretty. Um, and then you just want to finish your thread off. So I'm going to work back down to that an initial ring of crystals thread through a crystal and then just tie some half hitch knots to, to finish off my thread. I mustn't forget to put a link to that macrame video that I found um, on this video when I'm done. So I will put that through. And it was all in Spanish and I don't speak Spanish myself, but I managed to work it out. So I reckon hopefully you will too. Um, so that is my little petal earring. So I'm just going to trim off my tail of thread and attach my ear wire using my chain nose pliers. I'm just going to grip that ear wire on the side. And then because these are Toho beads and they've got a really decent sized hole, you should just be able to slip that loop maybe do a bead along that's a nice idea the problem that we've got with bead alongs at the moment um chris is that royal mail the post are being very slow right now so we're shipping everyone's orders out but they're not getting to everyone as quickly as they normally would because um because Royal Mail have got a lot of people off sick at the moment. So although we're shipping all the orders out, we're finding they're taking a bit longer to get to people. Um, so it's a bit tricky to, because you just don't know whether people are going to get it in time at the moment. Um, so yeah, there's my lovely daisy earrings. These ones with the Toho and this with the Miyuki. Um, that They just look very different to one another. Um, so this one's with the Toho here and uh, yeah, they're my favourite. I really love them. And I've now got a pair, so I shall enjoy wearing those uh, for the rest of the day. And then tomorrow I want to come back and do another beaded flower design, but this time it's um, the Hui Chol pattern, which is one of my favorite, favorite bead stitches. Um, it's a, a little more complicated than this one, but once you get your head around it, it's really simple and you can have a lot of fun playing with the colors with the Hui Chol. Um, so, um, oh, I'm glad you're gonna make them today, Anita. That's really lovely. Um, so yeah, I will pop, um, I will, there's, a, there's a free pattern for that one as well that we're doing tomorrow, but tomorrow you just need size 11 seed beads. Um, so um, just size 11 for tomorrow, Chris. So in about sort of four, um, maybe five colors. Can you use bigger seed beads? Yeah, you could. Yeah, 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 you could. They'll just end up, your finished piece will be um, bigger, that's all. Um, so yeah, if you're making these, pop um, a picture of them on our Facebook um, group if you get a chance, because it's really lovely to see what you're all making and to see how they turn out in different colorways and things. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Monday and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everyone.